What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing. Coming back at you with another video and today I'm gonna upgrade my flow by adding a new pump to the tank. The new Higer Aquarium Inverter Wave Maker Pump. Yes, that is a mouthful. But Higer, I guess they saw one of my reviews um, on their previous pump, their like cheap little AC pump. I mean, it wasn't a great review. It was just kind of like, hey, it's a pump. Hey, look at this, go buy it. If you want it, it's gonna work. And I guess they were impressed and said, hey, we want you to do a review on this pump that we have. And they contacted me and this is kind of a sponsored video because I got it for free. But as you saw from the last video, I'm not afraid to kind of speak my mind. So I'm gonna do an unboxing, speak my mind and let you guys know, should you be buying this? All right, so let's open this pump up. This model is HG042, and this is the blue one. It comes in blue and gray. Now, I'm not sure how blue is gonna work, look in the tank, but we're gonna figure it out. And here is the back. You guys can pause it and read it for yourself because all this is on the website. Now, I did ask, and they said I can say whatever I want, and that, you know, all I have to do is put a link in the video. But I did ask, like, you know, I'm worried that this isn't gonna fit on my 19 mil glass. They said for sure that it is gonna fit on my 19 mil glass because this goes up to 200 gallons. Let's put it to the test. All right, so you just have the basic controller. I kind of like how it's, it's actually very robust. Um, cool color for the controller. And let's look at the pump. This looks like a pump cover. To go over it, you have the 3M double-sided tape. You got your little wall wart that goes right there and you have your pump hmm we'll see if this is gonna fit I'm kind of interested to see if this is gonna fit on 19 mil glass all right so this cable is about 74 inches long which is about two meters a little bit more than six feet from this little endpoint all the way to the pump Pump is kind of small actually that's really tiny I mean look at that in the palm of your hand it's like a baseball size and then this cable's length is about 62 inches so just a tad longer than five feet so you got five feet where you can plug it into here and then you got another six feet from here to the pump so not bad 11 feet if you want to you know span it that far but we'll see this pump is super easy to take apart all you do is do a quarter turn not even a quarter turn eighth of a turn counterclockwise and there it is you can pop this impeller out super easy and just like that boom clean it put it back in and you go on with your day all right so i'm gonna be real honest we'll see how this actually fits on 19 mil glass is this going to work uh-oh that doesn't seem like it's gonna hold very well uh-oh Ooh, that is a weak hold on that glass. We will see if this is gonna work. All right guys, so if you have a J-Bow, you know if you unplug it here, it sparks. So let's see, is it gonna spark? No spark! Oh, I feel so much better about my life that I don't have fire hazards. So let's plug this in and see how it does with the wave maker on. All right, so it actually has, if you look up here, the M1, those are the different modes. So if you have it on M1 right now, it's on a constant flow rate. And if you move to M2, you get more of that classic wave mode where it ramps up and ramps down. You can also change the frequency or hertz of it with this button right down here. And it will change how quickly it'll ramp up and down. Now if you go to wave three, it's that classic reverse wave making mode. So this you compare with two pumps and one would be um, in the master and one would be the uh, servant as they call it nowadays. And then while one is ramping up, the other one's ramping down and then vice versa. So it's kind of like a chasing wave. If you have um, M4 right here, you got the sine wave where it goes up and then down again. And you can also change the frequency for this one. I'm just gonna show you this because I think M2 and M4 are similar, but if you look here, it ramps up sharp and drops down sharp. But if you look at M4, where it's the sine wave, it goes up and then comes down slowly. It's not as sharp. 
and then I'm gonna be using M5 where it's the random mode because I really like the random mode. So we talked about M5, the random mode, and then M6 is if you have two pumps and then they would be one on each side and then they would be pushing back and forth from left to right. So you would have them, one would be pushing, and then as soon as it stops, the other one is pushing back. So it would be similar to like, I would consider it like an else mode that some pumps have. And with that mode, you would get a gentle swaying motion if you had two pumps going and syncing up and it would just kind of sway the corals or anything back and forth in the tank. All right, so I have it on random mode at the highest setting at 20, which means it's full power on a six foot tank let's see what some food looks like when we drop it in right over top of the pump. Okay. That's so, oh, look at that. It's gonna blow it all the way to the other side of the tank. Huh. Well, was not expecting it to carry that far. But yeah, you can kind of see. It is definitely moving and grooving, especially in this area. You can see that all the food is getting pushed around. All right, so I have a, a bigger angle this time because I was not expecting to go that far. So this is AB plus, and we'll see how it goes as far as carrying across the tank. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see that is definitely a medium angle. It's not a laser beam shooting across, but it is definitely a medium angle it's not a wide angle for this but it's carrying it i mean i would say that if i were to look at this it hits its maximum velocity and it's right about there at the three foot mark and then it just slowly pushes it across but yeah not bad that's more than i was expecting for that little pump so does this pump have enough power to shoot all the way across a six foot tank um Probably not. It's definitely going to the middle of the tank and it has pretty good velocity at the middle of the tank. Then after that, it kind of just slowly pushes its way past that middle part. So four foot tank easily hitting that. And then this would be a good supplemental flow on a six foot tank. If you have like a freshwater tank, yeah, this is all you need. But if you're a saltwater tank, you know, you probably want this on like 180 gallon or less. Um, the 200 gallon, you know, I'd probably have to do multiple of these, but this is definitely gonna be adding some more flow to my tank, for sure. And look at that, you can see like how quickly it's moving across the top, that surface agitation. It's still moving, but you can definitely see it slows down right about there. So at around the three and a half, four foot mark. And then everyone wants to know how silent these pumps are. I'm like right up to this, I mean, I'm up to the pump. I can't hear anything. I mean, you can see it's going. I hear nothing. I hear no ramping up, no ramping down. Now, my octo pulses, they definitely are bigger, but I can definitely hear those pumps go. I This is dead quiet. Like, dead, dead quiet. It's impressively quiet. Now, is it pu pushing out 3,400 gallons per hour? I don't know, this Octopulse is doing 4,500, but let's see what a competitor is doing and compare the two. All right, so I have the J-Bow and the Hyger running right next to each other. Now the J-Bow SLW20 is 10,000 liters per hour, which is about 2,600 gallons per hour. And then this is 3,400 gallons per hour. So this is actually pushing out much less than this. The JBOT SLW20 is smaller for sure, and the Hyger is slightly bigger, I would say, but they're both extremely quiet. Hmm. And the footprints are very, very, very similar. The only thing with the Hyger is you can't angle it as well as you can with the JBOT. The JBOT has an extra little buffer at the back, you can kind of slightly angle it up and down. And here's a head-on shot of the j -Bow compared to the Hyger, compared to the Octopulse 4. So, pretty comparable in this dimension as far as size is concerned. Currently I have the j -Bow on and the Hyger off, and the j -Bow's flow is definitely wider, um, more vertical, and a wider spread, and it definitely peters out here. The Hyger pushes slightly farther across the tank in a more narrow stream. 
I also forgot to mention there's a feed mode on here which I've been using right now and if you hold it down for three seconds it'll last for 10 minutes just like all the other pumps. All right initial impressions of the Heiger HG042. Pretty impressive with the strength I'm not gonna lie I was not expecting it to push it that far. There's only like one thing I could knock the pump for is its look. Now most people in the hobby like things that kind of disappear that you're not going to notice and if you are looking around my tank you see some black pumps you can see a black gyre in the corner you can see that octopulse over there it's not really too obtrusive but then you come over here and you're like what is that blue pump sticking out here now maybe if you could hide it on the back wall or something or if got some coralline algae on it it might blend in a little bit better that's the only thing i would knock it for now you can get it in gray and you can get it in blue my preference would be to get the gray. I was just given the blue, but I do like the flow of this. And I do like it has 20 increments that you can increase it, which is way more than my Octopulse and it's more than my j -Bow. So more controllability, which is always a good thing. You can really dial in that flow. And speaking of flow, that's the only pump on in the tank and it's moving this much water right now. So pretty impressive now for me what i think i'm going to do for it is i've made a mistake in my frag tank that j bow has a wide flow in a very narrow tank and it's just not really doing it for me and it kind of just doesn't fit the tank it's just too wide of a flow it's not really pushing all the way across and the corals aren't really doing as well. I think this new Heiger pump, which has a better, more directional flow, it's not as wide, but it can definitely get all the way across and keep that flow going. I think that's gonna be better in my frag tank. So real quick, this is at one on random mode, and this is the lowest setting, and it is absolutely tearing up this tank and just knocking everything around. Holy cow. Keep in mind, I had that j bow set to like 80% intensity and I wasn't, oh my God, this is so much more powerful, this flow. I mean, it's rocking these hammers all the way over here. Yeah, that's a pretty strong flow. I thought one would be okay. Don't put this in a 20 gallon tank because yeah, it's rocking everything in here. Holy cow. Maybe I'll move this to the bottom. I don't know, that's some strong flow. Honestly, this might be one of the times I want the pump to get dirty because the flow is so insane that I kind of need to throttle it back a bit. All right, guys, so that's my overview of the Hyger HG042. I almost said 9, it was 2. HG042, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Now, it's barely hanging on to this 19 mil glass. I think it will definitely hold on to it, but it's a very tentative hold. Anything less than 19 mil glass is easily going to make it. Um, they say it's for 75 to 200 gallons. Man, I would have no problem putting this in a 40 gallon, like mixed reef tank or anything. Like if you got anything smaller like that, I would definitely do that for a reef tank. Maybe not in any of those planted tanks. Definitely not if you're doing fresh water. Don't really consider doing this in a small tank, definitely 75 and up. But you could definitely put this in a shorter tank and a smaller tank. Actually, I think my old 80 gallon reef would be like perfect for this. So guys, that's all I got for you this time. If you like what you see here and you wanna see more, click the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment below, and let me know how you like this video. And as always, I will see you next time.